In the State House of Representatives, the webcasting is continuing. Republican Representative Janice Arnold Jones of Albuquerque says she didn't like the cannot do attitude of those lawmakers who were successful in stopping webcasting of the full House and Senate floor sessions. They said it would cost too much money, even though the cameras had already been bought. So Arnold Jones got an inexpensive webcam, a more expensive microphone, and hooked it all up on her laptop. She's been webcasting meetings of committees where she's a member since earlier in the week. Her action has gotten a lot of attention. Representative Arnold Jones is on the line. You just keep on trucking with this project. Why? Well, it really comes down to we have huge issues this session. We are uh, behind the curve financially, and I know that the citizens actually have the answers. They just need to know that we need help, and unless you know this and you have access, how can you know that it's your turn to call? You need to tell us. Well, and it kind of, I mean, it's kind of the reverse. Yes, I think they should have access, but it is more than that. The citizens themselves have the answers. Now, you're being called a rogue. You're being called a maverick. You're, you've disobeyed your committee chairman's wish that you not do it, but you kept on anyway. Uh, well, I, you know, I find that the rules, at least in the committees, uh, there is a narrow band, and I, and I actually try to be a rules person. I try to follow the rules until I can't do it anymore. But I believe I am still within the rules of the committee. As a representative, I have the right to communicate with my constituents as long as I am not harming or infringing on the process or my colleagues. And I think I've done that. You were in the Capital Outlay Committee meeting today, this morning. We watched uh, part of it. Any question from the committee chair there or any other members? Uh, Not a word. And and did you enjoy it? It was better picture quality, much better sound quality than before. I think you were sitting closer to the the people who were speaking. Right. It's a very intimate room. Uh, And I, I will draw your attention to the Capital Outlay Committee. At the legislature, many people grouse about this committee, but in my service on this committee, it turns out if you really want to learn about the state of New Mexico, if you really want to see the needs and understand what the problems are, it's this committee. Is this committee going to discuss at all the question of bringing back appropriated but unspent capital money? Uh, No. Uh, Capital outlay is a subcommittee of the tax committee, and so all we will hear in capital outlay are requests, new requests for this year. Uh, We will address the other issue in the tax committee itself. That's a little off the question of webcasting, so let me return to the webcasting (laughs) idea. Where does that stand now in the full House? I understand House Speaker Lujan has asked for a study. Uh, Indeed. And, and unfortunately, um, you know, and I know he was asked, um, I, I believe we have the infrastructure and this is ready to go. And, and, you know, could we modify and take incremental steps? Absolutely. But I am unwilling to wait even two more weeks. You know, we need to do this now. We need your help now. And you are doing it now. Then the system seems to be working okay. It, it's, it's okay. Um, I am a terrible uh, videographer. No, the camera work is just horrible. Well, the camera work sees what it sees, doesn't it? The camera (laughs) camera doesn't lie ever. (laughs) No, it 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 is a little bit uh, challenging because my my desire is really that our that the legislature itself should take this upon itself to provide this kind of access. I must tell you, I have been swamped with emails from all over the state. I and I got some really delightful emails from Rio Riva County. Uh, many from the southern part of the state because they feel for the first time that they can participate. Well, we will keep watching Representative Janice Arnold-Jones. Bye.